So to flash OpenTX on your FlySky FSI 6 X radio transmitter, you'll have to use the STM USB adapter and you'll have to use four jumper wires to connect the STM USB adapter to the motherboard of your FlySky radio. So if you take a look at this image, we're using the ground reset, the clock and the input output ports on the motherboard. So you'll have to solder the jumper wires to these four pads. So once you solder the jumper wires to the motherboard properly, you will have to download the STM utility software. So I've linked it in the description and you can download it from there. And to download the OpenTX firmware file, you'll have to go to RC Group's forum and download the file from there. So I have the link in description as well. So after downloading the firmware file and installing the ST-Link utility software, we can now go ahead and flash the firmware. So connect the jumper wires that we have soldered to the radio transmitter and connect it to the STM USB adapter and make sure that you match the connection properly. And because we are not using the VCC port, you will have to power on the radio throughout the process. So make sure your batteries are charged. So once you connect the STM USB adapter to your computer, you should see it in the device manager. And now I launch the STM utility software. So the first thing that we'll have to do is we'll have to back up the original firmware on the FlySky radio. And to do that, go to the target option and click on connect. And then you'll have to change the address, the size and the data width. So change these to the numbers I've displayed on the screen. And then click on the floppy icon to save the original firmware so in case if you want to revert back to the original firmware you can do that by using this firmware file so after backing up the original firmware we can now flash the open tx file so to do that click on target go to program and verify and select the open tx file that you have downloaded and you don't have to make any changes over here just click on start and within 5 to 6 seconds, the firmware should be flashed. So click on target and disconnect. And the display on your FlySky radio should read bad EEPROM data. So just click on any button and it should clear out. And make sure that you also disconnect the jumper wires from the STM USB adapter. And now you have officially flashed the OpenTX firmware on your FlySky FSI 6X radio transmitter. So huge thanks to Mr. Mariano for developing the firmware for this radio and also making it available for us to test. If you visit the RC forums, you can visit through all the pages and keep a track of the progress. So the FlySky FSI 6X is officially a budget radio transmitter that you can flash OpenTX to and use it. So like I said, a huge thanks to Mr. Mariano and others who have contributed to this development of the software. And using the latest firmware file, you can bind your receiver to the transmitter using any protocol. So that's a major update that you get in the latest firmware file that's available. In my next video, I'll show how you can bind the transmitter to your receiver and set up the model. So I'll go through all the settings and other options that you get in the OpenTX firmware. So stay tuned for that video. And if you have any other questions, you can comment them below. So thanks a lot for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the OpenTX firmware on your FlySky FSI 6X radio transmitter.